Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to change or check your Windows update settings. And we're going to do this in Windows 7 and Windows 10. So we have a Windows 7 VM right here running on a Windows 10 workstation here. So we'll start with Windows 10. So to get to your Windows update settings you could just type in settings and go there and then there's update and security. And your options are not too great here. It also depends on which build of Windows because they always seem to change this. So if you're watching this video and it's different, that means they did something new again. So you have your check for updates button, which will check for updates. And you can see that it's um, already been checking for updates. And you have your restart options. So you could schedule a time when you want it to restart your computer. And if you want it to show you a notification, that'll pop up if you want it to know before it's going to restart your computer. And there's no way for you to not have it restart your computer because it's going to do it whether you like it or not, just like it's going to install updates whether you like it or not compared to Windows 7. And you could go down to the advanced options. And if you want to have other updates like for Office and Skype and that kind of thing, you can check this box. And this option is kind of interesting. So if you check this, then when you go to do like a big update, and it needs to reboot your computer, it'll automatically log you on with your credentials so it can finish the update and then it will lock your computer so nobody else can get into it. And then these branch options here, don't really worry about this. This is more like for Windows stages for what updates get installed when and how long you could put them off for. So depending on what version of Windows, you might just have current branch. We have current branch for business because we have Windows 10 Pro. So we're going to do a write-up on what this whole branch business means here. So it'll make a little more sense for you guys. And that's it for Windows 10. So now we'll go back to our Windows 7 VM here. And you can go to Start and Control Panel. And then go to let's view the small icons or large icons so we can see the Windows Update option. And for Windows 7, you have some options here. So by default, this is a brand new installation of Windows 7. So um, it hasn't checked for updates at all. So you could have it check for updates right now, or we're going to go to change the settings. And so here are the main options here. So if you choose install updates automatically, it's going to download them, install them, and then it'll give you a little pop-up saying it's going to restart your computer and you could keep postponing it. Um, but if you don't see it, then it's going to restart your computer. And then you could do this option, which is what I like to use, is download the updates and choose whether to install them. So it'll download them, have the little or the yellow shield down there letting you know that there's some updates ready. Then you could go through and pick which ones you want to update and reboot on your own terms. And then there's one where it'll check for updates and then let you choose whether to download them and install them. It's similar to this, except it won't download. It'll just kind of show you what's available. Then when you decide to pick them, you have to wait for it to download. And it just takes a little longer. And then there's a never check for updates option. So a lot of people use this if they have really custom configurations where a Windows update might screw up some of their software so they don't want it to change. Or if you're not on the internet and you're not worried about security patches, you could check that too. And this is the same kind of thing we saw in Windows 10 for the recommended updates like for Office and Skype and that kind of thing. And then if you want anybody who has a user account on this computer to install Windows Updates, you could check this box. And you could check your update history, what you've updated, uh, hidden updates. You know, if you see some updates and you decide to hide them because you don't want them installed and you want to bring them back and install them after all, you could check this option and see what's there. We're not going to have anything here. And that's about it. So right now it's checking for updates and it'll take a while and since it's a uh, brand new install and then install them and go from there. So that's pretty much how you check uh, updates and check the settings for Windows 10 and Windows 7. Thanks for watching.